Arab Blues, new comedy starring Golshifteh Farahani, mostly known for playing the adorable wife of Adam Driver in Patterson. This time she's the lead and she plays Selma, a Tunisian girl who moves back to her homeland after many years in Paris and opens a psychotherapy practice. She believes that there are more people here that she can help um, in Tunisia instead of wasting her time in France where there's many more psychotherapists and many less people who may be needed. And that may be true as evidenced by the overwhelming interest in her services by all sorts of people, but it may also not be so easy as life seems to throw numerous hurdles her way, her landlords wanting her to go back to Paris, a policeman she meets harassing her for not having the proper paperwork, the proper permit to operate, and the impossibly slow working government apparatus that seems to have no interest whatsoever of processing said paperwork. This is all done in a mostly comedic tone with a light-hearted breeze of that Tunisian summer. I think this vibe of the film, further enhanced by a wonderful soundtrack, and Farahani herself are the heart and soul of the film. She plays a rather different role than in Patterson. She's much more assertive and self-sufficient and sort of stubborn in a good way, because at its core, this is a story about endurance, about taking on whatever life throws at you and standing strong, being able to continue what you decided you want to do. Soma's entire thing is not giving up in the face of all the serious and less serious stuff that's happening. Because some of it is quite hilarious, like the Ministry of Health lady that, instead of taking care of the paperwork, continuously tries to sell lingerie or scarves from Turkey while on the job. Or the landlord who habitually drinks alcohol from a Coca-Cola can. Or a local imam undergoing a sort of spiritual crisis. Through all those oddball characters, the film also makes a sort of commentary on some of the absurdities, that, uh, but also some of the serious issues of a modern day society in Tunisia. And I think for the most part it works. Arab Blues ends up being a rather decent film. I think there are some things lacking. I would have liked it to be stronger in terms of the narrative structure, which at times feels a little bit disjointed. And some of the jokes don't really land, although maybe they're just that specific to the Arabic culture that I didn't quite get them. In which case maybe, you know, maybe the film could have been a tad more accessible. And I was also not the biggest fan of the ending montage, but saying why would be a spoiler. As it is, though, I think the positives outweigh the negatives, and Era Blues is an alright, light-hearted comedy.